It's a donation from the Philippines government to the church. Hello mga bash! I know it's super duper late, but welcome back to the second part of our Barcelona trip. Let's start our day with the Sagrada Familia tour. As you can see, this is a miniature of the Sagrada Familia church, and the cream or yellow colored parts are still under construction with an expected date to finish on 2026. The church will have three grand facades. The Passion Facade to the west, the Nativity Facade to the east, and the Glory Facade to the south, which is yet to be completed. Now, it's time to discover what's inside the Sagrada Familia Church. This side of the church is where the Nativity Facade is. In the middle is the Glory Facade, which is still under construction. And the other side will be the Passion Facade. When the Sagrada Familia Church is completed in 2026, it will have 18 towers. Twelve of the towers will represent the Apostles, four of them will represent the Evangelists, one will be designated for the Virgin Mary, and of course, the last one, the highest one in the middle, will represent Jesus Christ. the main altar is located so the whole space is what they call the apse and as you can see right in the middle that is the main altar right perfect and also there is a chapel in the basement okay what they call the crypt mm -hmm. the crypt is located right underneath the apse and mm -hmm. it has the same shape as the apse this semicircular shape is located right on the niche. Mm. And at the chapel in the basement is where Gaudi is buried. Mm. He's buried at the chapel in the basement. Okay? Mm. Also over there, as you can see, there is the main altar. And right over the altar, there is something that resembles a big umbrella, right? Okay, this is what they call the baldekin. A baldekin is something very common in Catholic churches. They say that the purpose for the baldekin is to protect the altar, something like that. Mm -hmm. It's very common in Catholic churches, mm -hmm. okay? And hanging from the baldachin, as you can see, there is a sculpture of Jesus Christ standing on the cross, right? And if you look up this way, southwest. up there, there is another sculpture, right? This one is Joseph, Jesus Christ's father. And right on the opposite side of the church, up there, as you can see, there is another sculpture, right? This one is Mary, Jesus Christ's mother. So that's a representation of the Holy Family inside the church. You know the altar, Joseph. We're now in front of what they call the Glory Facade. Remember, the Glory Facade is the one that's dedicated to the moment when after his death and resurrection, 
Jesus Christ returns back to heaven with his father, right? And remember also, the glory facade is not finished yet. Remember the model? It was all yellow, right? By now, on the outside, there is only concrete. There's no stone, there are no sculptures, only concrete. But on the outside, there is already a door. As you can see, something is written on the door, right? What is written on the door is the Our Father Prayer in Catalan language. This is what is written on the door, the Our Father Prayer in Catalan, Catalan, right? Okay, and I'll take a look. Surrounding the whole thing, there are parts of the Our Father Prayer also, but written in 50 different languages. So the main one is Catalan, and the other ones around are 50 different languages. That's English, Spanish, German, French, Italian, Chinese, Japanese, 50 different languages. I'll show you what English is. So, 50 different languages, right? And take a look, check that. As you can see, some letters on the door, they are for different color and the rest, right? A and G, right? These two letters, A and G, are the knobs to open the door. Any idea, any one of you that made for that? A and G. Any idea? Huh? That means Antoni Gaudi. The oyster. Okay? So as you may know, this is where they put the, they put the holy water during the mass, right? Okay, this oyster, it's a real oyster. It's not a fake one. It's a real one. A big one, as you can see, a huge one, right? It's a donation from the Philippines government to the church. Now let us move on to the Arc de Triomphe. It is a triumphal arc in the city of Barcelona in Catalonia, Spain. It was built by architect Joseph Villaseca y Casanovas as the main access gate for the 1888 Barcelona World Fair. Just a few meters away from the Arc de Triomphe is the Ciutadella Park, which is filled with historic sites, including the Castle of the Three Dragons, the famed transsexual Sonia Bandstand, and the Geological Museum, among others. The park is dedicated to biodiversity, and the various trees planted here range from poplars to magnolias, nettles, foxgloves, and brown pines. Many trees are over 100 years old. And lastly, mga besh, our last stop for today is the Barcelona Cathedral, or also known as the Cathedral of the Holy Cross and Saint Tubalalia. It is a Gothic cathedral and seat of the Archbishop of Barcelona, Spain. The cathedral was constructed from the 13th to 15th centuries. And that's it for the second part of our Barcelona vlog. See you again on our next vlog. Bye!